Customer service. I've put a little thing. Very, very important. Okay. Customer service is a very, very important thing. The reason why I say it's very important is because this will make or break your store when you're kind of getting up there in numbers, right? This is kind of, this should maybe perhaps be in this, this should maybe perhaps be, oh, okay, how many is it gonna let me? This should maybe perhaps be in the 100 to 100,000 orders, but, I don't know, like, I think it's very, very important. Okay, so we'll leave it in this. That's why I put it step six. It's basically kind of towards there. But customer service is very, very important. The reason why it's so important is because it will make or break your store. If you have bad customer service and you, you aren't staying on top of it, this is what will fuck your store up, okay? So this is the first thing you should outsource, okay? So if you're at like 100 orders, I would get rid of, I would get rid of customer service. Outsource that, get rid of someone else, right? But okay, let's say you're at zero orders right now, you're watching this. Why is customer service so important? So customer service is gonna, like if you have good customer service and quick response times, quick response times, you're gonna get less refunds, you're gonna get less bad reviews. That's the number one kind of thing. So that's gonna make you more money and that's gonna make you more money. <laughs> it's kind of simple as that. It's a very simple thing to fix and very simple thing to stay on top of. So you just wanna do that to just basically stay on top of it and get less fucking bad reviews, get more happy customers, and you'll make more cash. That kind of simple, okay? Like, yeah, there's not really much more to it. Like, it's just gonna improve your stuff, okay? So let me look at my notes. Customer is king. That's the thing with Etsy. The thing with Etsy is that customer, the customer is always king, okay? So, and the customer, to be honest, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, there are a lot of Karens on the Etsy platform, okay? A lot of Etsy customers think they're entitled to certain shit, and it can be a little bit frustrating at times. Keep your cool get their money, that's the number one thing, okay? 24 hour responses. There's a thing called Star Seller. Star Seller is very, very good. There's a couple of reasons why. Trust me though, it's good. Respond to every single remark in 20, within 24 hours, okay? By every single remark, what I mean is, what I mean is, you want to send the first message within 24 hours every single time. Messages after that don't count towards this little thing, but first message, you wanna send that every single time. Also, customer service, if you cancel someone's order, okay, so let's say you've got a really Karen customer, they're asking for a refund. You want to refund the order, yes, but you also want to cancel their order so they can't put in a review. 48 hours after you've canceled their order, they are unable to put in a review, so that's really good. Um, cases, I'm just powering through stuff here. Cases, cases aren't too much of a concern unless you get a lot of them very quickly. Cases can be very annoying because often some a customer will put in a case, it's basically like a claim on PayPal, a chargeback kind of thing. And Etsy will just automatically refund them from your money. Sometimes they'll do it where they automatically refund from their money. If they automatically refund from your money, you can appeal that and you can often get the money back if it's wrong, okay? Don't get bad reviews. It's kind of makes sense, right? but don't get bad reviews. This isn't Shopify dropshipping. You can't just add a bunch of fake reviews and it's just problem solved immediately. Don't get bad reviews, okay? When can a customer leave a bad review? Okay, when a customer leaves a bad review, you can kind of combat it. You gotta kind of, to put it in the most polite way possible, you gotta suck their dick, okay? You just gotta massage them, the customer's always right, build their ego up, and you've just gotta kind of really massage them into thinking that they're completely and utterly correct and they're not being unreasonable, which they probably are being unreasonable, okay? So bear that in mind and just pretend the customer is always right, even though the customer is not always right, okay? It's just what you gotta do. It's just what you gotta do and just really focus on that, okay? And just, just get the good reviews in. Get the good reviews in. Once you're past like 50 reviews, you can start being more of a dickhead. You can start being more kind of strict with the refunds and stuff like this. But before that point, just, just be very lenient and be very nice to the customers, okay?